Hello guys, welcome to another video. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how you can turn off auto updates uh, for FIFA 21 and really all other games on Origin, Steam, and EA Desktop. Um, and you, you, this is something you want to do. You want to actively turn off auto updates because when there is a FIFA update, uh, the mod, any, uh, not necessarily any mod, but certainly the Realism mod and a lot of popular mods uh, will not will stop working. Uh, the legacy files in them will stop working, which will cause issues, etc., etc. And you'll have to wait for an update. Sometimes this is, you know, uh, soon. Sometimes you have to wait a bit. So I'm going to making this tutorial uh, to make a clear tutorial on how you can turn them off and then some issues you may run into and how you can fix them. Um, and all that. Now, I presume if you're watching this video, you want to turn them off. Uh, you're using the Reels mod, so you want to turn off auto updates for that. So I have to say, uh, please join the Reels mod Discord server. Link is in the description and appearing on screen uh, now um, in a card. Um, because uh, if you are running into any issues turning off auto updates or launching a game or whatever, ask here. Uh, as you see, we have a huge community. You will get answered. Um, and also other info about the mod you'll get. You can ask questions, you can ask for help, you can get uh, sneak peeks of stuff, and uh, it's a really caring community. So yeah, I highly recommend you join. Uh, so go do that now. Anyways, we'll start with Origin first. So to turn off auto updates, first thing you wanna do is, well, launch Origin. We'll go here, and then we can make this full screen. What you wanna do is click Origin on the top menu bar, then Application Settings, wait for that to load, and then you just wanna go under this application icon, go to uh, client update, and then automatic game updates, you wanna make sure that's off like that. You need to make sure that is off. That's the number one thing. Now you can leave automatically update origin on. I would actually recommend that because origin updates are fine. It's only the actual FIFA update. So make sure you do that. Um, there's no save button or anything. It's automatic. So yeah, just do that. Uh, but then, obviously, for Origin, even even if, after you do that, what you want to do is go into offline mode, especially before an update. And how do you know when there's going to be an update? Well, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Pfeiffer underscore mods, as I will tweet um, But when, when there is uh, an update uh, the night before. So turn notifications on for my Twitter. If you're in the Discord, you'll get uh, pinged. So make sure to do that. But I recommend turning it off always. So how you do this is click Origin here and click go offline. That way you don't have to turn your Wi-Fi off or anything, just like that. And you can still play your games that are still all available here. However, when launching one of these games, there is a slight issue that sometimes you will run into, but it's very fixable. Let me explain that now. Now, the issue is a screen like this. It will say display name field missing from registry. Uh, it will look like this, et cetera, et cetera. Now, there are, there are a lot of tutorials online, so you, if you, you can just Google it if, if uh, for whatever reason. But basically, what you want to do is it's not that hard. Uh, we can see the window here. You just want to enter your origin email and your origin password and then click sign in. Before you do that, you do want to go back online. So you get the screen from launching from the mod manager or whatever. Then you want to go go origin, uh, click origin, go online. You come here, you'd enter your origin email, your origin password. You can reset it if you don't remember it on origin.com. You can figure that out with a Google search. Click sign in and then it should launch and then you can go back into offline mode. And you should only really have to do this once. Uh, it shouldn't be a regular thing. So that's how you do it on Origin, of course. Um, so yeah, you need to turn auto updates off and then uh, go on out, going offline is optional. Um, you don't have to do it uh, because if you do want to play other games online or you want to play FIFA Ultimate Team, et cetera, et cetera, you do have to be online, so you can't do that. But uh, when there is an update, you definitely want to go offline just to be sure because sometimes Origin may sneakily update the game or maybe you didn't properly save the setter, setting, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, next will be Steam. Uh, obviously, you can still do this on Steam, pretty simple. Uh, you want to go to whatever game it is. So I don't have FIFA on Steam, but I do a football manager. It's the, exact, it's the exact same. So you want to go to your library then come here and then right click on the game, go properties, and then click updates on the side. And then for automatic updates, click here. And you want to change this to only update this game when I launch it. This means that uh, when you open Steam and there's an update, it won't automatically update. Now, obviously, you might think, okay, well, that's how's that better? Only update the game when I launch it. I need to launch it to play, so it'll still update. And yes, that's right. But then again, the key is just turn it into offline mode. Uh, for Steam, obviously, you will actually have to. It's not optional like it is for Origin. You do have to turn it into offline mode. So to do that, click Steam here. And then you click uh, go offline or reboot in offline. Obviously, I'm already offline, so it says go online for me. But you go here, and there'd be an option that says something about offline. Do that. Uh, so that's how you do it for Steam. Again, very important, um, and I would highly recommend you do this. 
And finally, for EA Desktop. Again, it's pretty simple. They don't seem to have a go offline feature, although I presume will be added because it's still in beta. So by the time you're watching this, they could have easily added it. So you could Google it or, you know, just try it out yourself, see if it exists. Um, but what they do have is you can't disable automatic updates. It's very easy. Uh, just click uh, on the little icon at the very top, click settings, uh, application, uh, I mean download, and then make sure uh, update games automatically, make sure that is off, right? You don't want it on, you want it off like that, that's good. Um, so yeah, you're just gonna have to trust it, I guess. Uh, obviously, uh, until uh, EA Desktop is in uh, full release, I would just recommend using Origin. I think it's uh, the best for FIFA out of the three platforms. But if you are using EA Desktop, it's still possible, still easy. So yeah, those are the steps. So that's gonna be it, basically, uh, for this video. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Again, make sure to join the Reels Mod Discord. Follow me on Twitter so you get updates about uh, the Reels Mod if you're interested in that. If you don't know what the Reels Mod is, check out the trailer um, that I've linked in the description below. It's the biggest mod for FIFA 21. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye. I've been running out of time, think I need to rewind, feeling out of life I put everything aside, hoping that I make it right, all the things I do for you